shopping here is my goodies by the way this is all for me because the hubby is working out of town <laughs> so this is just me right now I'm back to my solo antics while he's out of town all right so these are actually I a lot of items that I purchased that goes along with my my current my fit into fall challenge that I'm doing with uh, my app users so let's start here. So we've got some black beans, pinto beans, we've got corn, quick, quick cooking rolled oats, butternut squash. I've got some frozen green peas. We've got a pumpkin. I'm gonna bake a pumpkin, guys. The store did not have any pumpkin puree at all. So I'm gonna make my own. And I've never done it before, so this shall be interesting. 
I got some more goodies I need to refill on my snacky items. I got more of the sauerkraut, dill and garlic flavor. I got some plain organic salt-free rice cake. Got my favorite blueberry cashew yogurt and the plain. I also got some vegetable bouillon, I'll make my own. And then also the raspberry probiotic yogurt. I love this one. We got a red bell pepper, lettuce, we've got carrots, avocado, zucchini, kale, cilantro, blueberries, spinach. We've got assortment of cabbage right there. We've got some 2% cottage cheese by Good Culture. Bananas. We've got portobello and regular mushrooms down there. Uh, lemon and lime. Strawberries. And I love that you can get your celery like in separate at, at my store. So I don't get a whole lot because you know the bunch and I feel like I waste it. So we've got just this, three stalks. Cucumber, we've got regular Greek yogurt, the phage one, Fage. I don't say that wrong, 2%. Egg whites, some more lettuce, filled greens, snow peas, and mozzarella. So the first thing I'm gonna start with is I'm gonna make my own chipotle burrito bowls. So we're gonna start with the rice. So I've got my basmati rice here, and don't worry, that is just brown rice on the bottom. It's not rotten or anything. <laughs> so we need a cup of water. So we'll put it into my Instant Pot. And then, one cup of rice. All right, need one lime. Oh. <laughs> Smooth. So I like to, roll it like this because then it softens the lime and we're going to you just need your little lime juicer juicer whatever you want to do it so we're going to juice the whole thing squeeze get that lime lime in the coconut and lime in the coconut lime in the coconut come on you lift heavy weights this is not that hard okay so we're gonna make the cilantro lime rice. So we're going to uh, dump that in here. Going to do a tablespoon of salt into there. Okay, I shouldn't do that. We're just gonna stir this up a little bit and that's all we're gonna do. So we're gonna put the lid on and we're going to do the rice setting, and that's it. Let's move on to the next thing. So we're going to do this pumpkin. <laughs> Let's do the other side. <laughs> now I'm a knife, okay, we're not gonna Okay, there we, am I strong enough? Okay, we're good. Deseed it. Don't forget to pre preheat your oven to 350. Can't forget that. So this is actually from Halloween last year. Me and Nick got. So I saved it because I actually use it whenever I deseed any of my squashes. I use it a lot. my olive oil cooking spray and I'm going to just spray these just like this just like that all right so we're gonna put in our pumpkin and I believe we're gonna be wanting we we're gonna want to cook it for an hour or at least until when you poke it like with a knife or fork, it's soft. You want that meat to be soft. 
All right, so for my chipotle burrito bowls, you could do ch chicken, you could do turkey, you could do steak if you want. What I'm gonna do is deer steak. So I don't do a lot of red, red meat in general, but every once in a while, I'm using deer steak, which is the wild game. My husband, actually, this was his deer that he got last hunting season. Best red meat that you could eat is wild game. I will be chopping those up in little tiny pieces and we'll be sauteing those um, that'll go with the chipotle burrito balls. <laughs> and that is lean, lean meat. <laughs> In the freezer and I defrosted it and it, it started to cook a little bit on the, on the edges. Because there is no fat in this meat, that's why it cooks really fast and it can get, you can dry it out. So you want to be careful with that. Like these pieces I'll probably keep out until the very end, but this um, I'll be cooking. I mean, you can see there's no, like how lean this is. This is the most natural organic meat you could ever get. We're starting with some olive oil. We're going to saute this meat now. Remember you can opt out of that. You could do chicken, you could do turkey, or you could just do mushrooms in place of your meat. If you want a more uh, vegan or vegetarian option. You, and it doesn't take long for this, this deer meat to cook either. So we're gonna do salt, cumin, garlic, and pepper. Can't forget pepper. <clears throat> Dried oregano. So that is what we're starting with right now. And so we're literally going to be just sauteing it, searing it for, I wouldn't even say five minutes. It's on, I'm kind of high. But we just will keep stirring it. So. Okay, so that wasn't even, that wasn't even like, three minutes. Um, there, there is a little bit of pink, but it's kind of like if you were eating steak, you like it medium, medium rare, well done, all of that. So I like it a little bit with that little bit of pink in it. The rice is done, so I was letting it sit. I let it sit longer than normal. You want it to sit, like set for like at least five minutes. Then what happens is it, um, it becomes fluffy. All right, I de-leaved a bunch of um, cilantro, so we just got the leaves here. We'll be chopping that up and then putting that in the rice. So you'll throw your cilantro in there and then just, I'm trying to do this, but just fluff it into the uh, rice. So it's like that. So I just realized that uh, one of the main ingredients to a burrito bowl is pico de gallo. And I did not get that. So we're gonna make our own, super easy. You're just gonna need, I don't have Roma tomatoes. You know, it's those round ones, but I do have these little, these are just like mini Romas. <laughs> so we'll just use these. Other thing I don't have is a fresh jalapeno. So we're going to do just these jalapenos from the jar. We'll chop those up. Red onion, got red onion in here. Cilantro, we got that. Another lime for lime juice. And then garlic powder, salt, and then you can do minced garlic or I just have this already chopped garlic in here. So we'll use this. So I'm going to use my uh, mini little chopper, Cuisine Art Mini Prep Plus. That's what I'm gonna use to chop everything up. So I'm gonna put everything in here and chop it up. Yep. I think that'll do. That'll do donkey. We should probably taste test our creation so we know it's good. Oh my no! Oh, yes! Nailed it! Now this is optional, but you can do your peppers. Um, I only have the orange and a red one. Um, so we'll just Slice these babies up and then we'll uh, clean your pan yet from your steak. We're going to saute the, the peppers in there. So now we're going to. And then you're going to add a little bit of your lime juice to there. Constantly stir your peppers, otherwise, they will burn.
Okay, and then we're just going to just smash it up. Ooh, we don't want that in there. Now you can add, now you can add like your onions and you can add tomatoes and stuff to this if you want, but I'm leaving it just those seasonings. So let's just chop up some And there's the final product. So we've got the rice, the guacamole, the steak, the pinto beans, the lettuce there, pico de gallo, our bell peppers, and the corn. Mmm. Got -hmm. red pumpkin, time out. And this is what you're looking for, is it just goes in there really easy. Just like that. On to the next um, one. So I'm doing pumpkin pie overnight oats. So I'm making it tonight. It'll be in the fridge and it'll be ready for me to eat tomorrow morning. It's super easy and it's super yummy. So I'm gonna save the other half for other dishes and then the other half will be a puree. Pumpkin pie, pumpkin, pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie, guys. Cause it's fall. Cause it's fall. So I was gonna do a mason jar, but I realized I've utilized all my mason jars for my storage of everything in here. <laughs> so I don't have that, so we're gonna, we're just gonna stick with a bowl, just a plastic bowl. But you can use a mason jar if you want. So we'll mix this all together and I'm actually gonna add more pumpkin spice because I think the, yeah, I failed on that one. Okay, so let's add more pumpkin spice. So we'll probably just do a half a teaspoon. Black pumpkin. That's pretty much it. So I'm gonna put a lid on it. Put a lid on it. We just leave it in the fridge overnight. I might've put a little too much liquid in there. But it's okay. We'll make it work. Two yummy meals for today. Yeah. All right, guys. I'm going to be filming, randomly filming all my little projects that I'll be working on over the course of who knows how long. But here's one that I did. So I had these little, they were like tequila bottles. Or they had a mixture and I saved them because they're cute little bottles and I didn't know what I wanted to use them for. And then I forgot. <laughs> I had all these bracelets in storage, which I love wearing bracelets, but I forgot I had them because I don't see them. So I pulled them, these out and they've become my little bracelet holders. Then I've got another one here with a cork in it, different size. I got another little one here. Then I got a taller bottle. And then I have my little, my necklace hanger, my arrow one. I don't remember, I think I got this from Michael's or Target. I think that's where I got that from. This is my little jewelry station. This is an old worn out dresser. <laughs> Get your ball. Get it. <laughs> All right, so I just did this little project. So this is our walk-in closet. Obviously my side, hubby side. <laughs> Men never have, have quite the clothes that we do. So I made this hat rack for the hubby. He's been talking about wanting something for his hat. He has no idea yet. He's been out of town all week. So I found these boards at Hobby Lobby and I just did the little backing on them. So I went to Home Depot, got these like picture hanger guys, measured everything. Tink. And then I found these cute hooks at Hobby Lobby as well. They look like um, barbed wire. I positioned four, you know, measured them out on there. It was super easy, just a lot of hand screwing. And they didn't have enough hooks, so I don't ha I haven't been able to finish it. I have one more board that I'm gonna do, so he'll have four rows that he'll be able to hang his hats on, but I'm super excited for him to see it when he gets home. Did it, did it. So, update on the bar. I just put alcohol on it, in it. <laughs> I put some some uh, fall things. These are actually leaves that I found out in our 
out in nature. <laughs> I dried them and saved them, so there's that. I, this was from my wedding, these little lights, so I'm utilizing them around the house. Yeah, starting to look cute. And this is our, from our wedding, we branded, that was our for a ceremony. We branded our initials in that block. And next thing I did, I started reorganizing my pantry. So it looks so much better than it did before. Uh, but yes, so I'm putting everything in jars. And then I bought all these little baskets. Hobby Lobby, Michaels, you can find all these things there. So it just looks better when you put all your snacks and, and candy and you got oatmeal packets, tortillas in there. But I got my cute little baskets for onions and potatoes and my squashes and, and avocado. And I've got all my protein powders, <laughs> a lot of protein powders. And then I've got containers up here full of everything. Like my labels, <laughs> sticky notes. And then I utilized, actually these were from my wedding as well, so I utilized those for some things. It's coming along, it looks so much better than it did. It was quite wild in there. 